What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so we've prepared the best way we can in order to come into this Pokemon League. We bought a lot of stuff, we sold a lot of stuff, uh, there, there really isn't any other way around it. We're gonna go with what we got right here, guys. It really, yeah, it is, a, it is going to be a tough one, but... You know, we are up for the challenge. We're going to be going into to take on the Elite Four. And unlike the Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow versions, these guys will actually come out with Pokemon that are more towards their element typing. In Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, there weren't a lot of Pokemon out there yet. There were a lot of dual typings, a lot of Pokemon that could use uh, two typings at once. Right here, you're going to have just a tad bit more Pokemon you know going up against you just like vanillish right here now if i do go for a speed button and then that is because well we're gonna have to go with this quickly so as you can see we're taking on vanillish an ice type pokemon and oinkinator just destroys this guy real quick now i did use all the rare candies on quite a few pokemon so well mostly mostly on uh mostly on uh well mostly on oinkinator and on on uh what was it on gigalith right here here comes a Loma Mola, and well, let's see. Here comes a Zekrom, and well, let's go with a Thunderbolt. And there we go. Let's see. Coming out with a Bear Tick. Let's go ahead and go back to Oinkinator right here. Now, I do not want to waste my Legendary Pokemon in this one because they are weak against Ice type Pokemon. So, Oinkinator destroying everybody right here. And well, let's go with a Vanillux. A Vanillux, and this Pokemon looks big and beefy and and there we go we have defeated Vanillux and it is at level 49 so there we go how dare you now as you can see the Pokemon right here are a little stronger and okay so they had to take two times okay so now we're going to be going up against uh, Bruno right here and I do need to heal my Pokemon so let's go right ahead and heal him up now, the, the best Pokemon for this situation is going to have to be Resh... No, it's going to have to be Curum. Hmm, you know what? Let's go with Gigalith. I want to see what goes on right here. He does, he does have the capability of using two Pokemon, so... He does have rigorous training. Weight train his Pokemon, Draven. I will grind you to the floor with, the, with my superior power. Okay. Here we go. Let's get it. Going up against Buff Bagwell himself, Bruno, and he's coming out with his Scrafty. Now this is a challenge for Gigalith because it is both a dark and, uh, and, well, now yeah, dark and whatchamacallit fighting type Pokemon. And here we go, flying again. And there we go. Defeated Scrafty with just a fly attack. And he's going to be coming out with a throw right here, so good thing is I did teach Gigalift Psychic Attack. So we're going to continue on with Psychic. Psychic. There we go. Level 41. Mind Shao is another Pokemon we have to be worried about because it is super strong as you can see. I do have uh, 6 HP left. So let's go with Curum and let's go with a Ice Beam Attack for the win. And there we go. Curum grows to level 52 and is learning Dragon Claw, so we're going to take away Dragon Rage for that one since I don't really need it. And there we go. We have defeated Bruno. Alrighty. My job is done. Face your next challenge. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon again. So the goal is not to use so many of our, our Hyper Potions right here. Okay. Now we're going up against some Psychic type Pokemon. This one's going to be a little difficult, but I do have... Where is he? Kill a Croc for this situation. Alright, let's go. Agatha of the Elite Four. And yes, how she was uh, Professor Oak's ex-girlfriend and whatnot. That's cool. You know, old people need to love to. Alright, so here she's coming out with a Lampet. Let's go. Crunch Attack. Capharagus. Crunch Attack again. Jellicent. Let's go straight to Zekrom. That way we don't waste one of our Pokemon. And there we go. Coming out with a Golurk. Let's go back to Killicroc. Crunch Attack. 
There we go. Level 49. Chandelure. And there we go. We have defeated Agatha. Throwing out that peace sign. I know I'm going very, very fast in this one, guys. But the importance is that we have to get to the final person right here. And we are going to be going up against a Pokemon trainer with Dragon-type Pokemon. Now, knowing this game, there's quite a few Dragon-type Pokemon in this game. And, well, we're going to have to, like, really, 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 really conserve the Hyper Potions and whatnot. Okay, so Kill a Croc is there. Kiram. I am going to have to use another Hyper Potion right here for Kiram. Okay. Let's do this. Is that fear you hear? Nope. Alrighty. Okay. So here we are in the final round against Lance the Dragon type trainer. Now in red, blue, and yellow, there was only one pure or one line of dragon types. Dragonite, Dragonair, and Dratini. That right there has changed in this one because there are now like a, at least seven different kinds. I heard about you, Draven. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Draven. Very confident in himself. So here we go. Count Dracula himself, Lance wants the battle, and he's coming out with Fracture, level 56. And luckily for us, we do have Ice Beam Attack. And there we go. Coming out with Archeops. And I kind of want to use a different Pokemon for this one right here. Archeops is a flying type Pokemon, so let's see. Let's go with Gigalith. And that right there takes away from what we were trying to do. So let's go with Zekrom. There we go. Thunderbolt does that trick. Here comes Drudagon. Ice Beam. There we go. And Haxorus. We're going to continue on right here. Look at that. And Hydreigon. This Pokemon is a scary Pokemon. Level 62. But we have no issue with it because we defeated it with an Ice Beam. Throwing out that peace sign. What now? That's it? I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon Master. Why aren't we all? I still can't believe my Pokemon Dragons lost to you, Draven. You are now the Pokemon League Champion. Or, you would have been, but then you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Gary. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League Champion. Turns his back on us. Okay, well, um, well, we already know how this is going to go. We're going to heal our Pokemon. And we're going to make sure that Gary remembers us for a very, very, very long time. Ah, <sighs> man. Okay, Zachram. Let's go. Let's do this. Alrighty. Time to pay the piper right here. Okay. I was looking forward to seeing you, Draven. My rival should keep uh, should be strong and keep me sharp. While working up on the Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Draven, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the, more, uh, I'm the most powerful Pokemon trainer in the world. Well, I'm paraphrasing and all that stuff. So here it is, guys. The final battle against Gary. And he is, uh, well, he's going to come out with the same Pokemon. Look at that. Unpheasant. And his Pokemon are stronger than mine. But luckily for me, I do have stronger moves. Look at that. And we grow to level 53, which is great. And he's going to be coming out with the Zoroark. Zoroark. So let's go with Oinkinator right here. Submission attack. And that takes care of uh, Zoroark right there. Look at that. Okay. And coming out with a Kling Clang. Let's continue on right here. Flamethrower attack. And that right there. You must recharge. So here we go. Hyper Beam does not work against me, man. It does not. Gattaca. And well, here he, he's going to be coming out with a Whimsiscott. So let's go straight for Reshiram. Need to give this Pokemon a little bit of loving. Look at that. Whimsi Whimsic Whimsicott. Can't pronounce the name right, but guess what? I can burn him down. And here comes a Hurricane attack, but it doesn't work. And uh, look. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Critical hit from the White Dragon himself. And, well, Darmanitan. Another Pokemon that, you know, 
has no chance against Arkilla Croc right here. Look at this. This insane Pokemon that's on energy drinks. Let's go right ahead and go for an earthquake attack. And here comes Submission Crap Baskets. Didn't know it had that. And it nearly defeats me. So here comes Earthquake Attack. Now, its recoil should help me just a little bit more. And there we go. Darmanitan has been defeated. And we got one more Pokemon, and that is Samurott. Let's go with Zacrom. Let's do it. All right. Samurai, you are as you are as majestic as that mustache has you, and well, here comes the Thunderbolt attack, and that nearly defeats this Pokemon. Here comes a Blizzard attack, nearly defeats me, but we finish him off with a Thunderbolt attack, and that's it, guys. We have defeated Gary for the final time. <laughs> no, that can't be! You beat my best! After all that work to become league champ, my reign is over already? It's not fair! Well, life's not fair, homie. Why? Why did I lose? I never made a mistake in raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion, although I don't like to admit it. Alrighty, and here comes Professor Oak, and he's like, Draven! So you won! Congratulations, you're the new Pokemon League champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with the Tepig. Draven, you have come of age. Gary, I'm so disappointed in you. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become champ again. Draven, you understand that your victory does not, uh, was not on your own, or was not your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Draven, come with me. Flipping you off, Gary. I'm flipping you off. Whoo! Alrighty. <clears throat> okay. Congratulations, Aiden Draven. This floor is the Pokemon League, uh, the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are here, are honored here to, or honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded on the Hall of Fame. Draven, you have endeavored hard to become the uh, the new Pokemon League champion. Congratulations, Draven. You and your Pokemon are the Hall of Famers. Okay. Look at that. Okay, so we have won the Pokemon League, guys, with some legendary Pokemon. It's a hack game. Whatever. Get over it, guys. Um, I don't know what happens after this. We've already been to the Cerulean Cave, and it, it has shown us that there is nothing... There's nothing else that we can actually find, and I know there's a lot of other Pokemon that we can trade for, like Keldeo and all that crud. But I think I think it's over and done with, guys. We have completed Pokemon Unova Red. Now, if there is something that I do find out about this game that we need to complete, I will get back on it. But as of right now, this this is probably the last episode of Pokemon Unova Red. So I just want to say thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for you know having patience with me when it when it came to like my break and all that crud. Uh, we are getting closer to, I guess, uh, yeah, very good finish, or fish of some marine, marine Pokemon. <laughs> so, I guess we're getting closer to the new, uh, the new games that are coming out, uh, pretty soon. Pokemon, uh, the Platinum, Pokemon Diamond, uh, Diamond and Pearls remakes, including Pokemon Arceus. Those are Pokemon games that I, I want to show off, especially right here. Uh, there are other games like Pokemon Moon that I still need to come out with and, and, and finish out. Which, you know, I'm on, on you know, I'm, as of right now, I'm recording everything, making sure that everything is getting done. That way I don't have to worry about recording while I'm on my season right here. Now, again, I want to say thank you guys for having a lot of patience with me when it comes to this game and my break and all that. I know that... You know, it's abrupt, and I don't usually inform people about this, but it was a much-needed rest that I needed, and I feel revitalized just because, you know, I took a, I took a breather, guys. I literally took a breather. Last year, we were at my house recording a buttload of games. At this point, we've already finished up like six walkthroughs in the, within the summer, and I kind of want to do that right now. But doing all that within a year, guys, it took a lot of energy, a lot of, you know, just a lot of everything from me. So that's the reason why I wanted to take the time 
to rest and all that stuff. So, again, thank you guys for having all that patience. Uh, like I said, if I find out that there's something else needed in this game, I will come back to it. And, uh, yeah, please enjoy the other walkthroughs, the other hack games that I have right here. They will be completed. So, stay tuned, guys. Another episode will be coming out of any other hack games. See you guys.